According to The Hill, the Reagan-era economist Art Laffer is predicting that Republicans will win 47 states in the upcoming presidential election. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know what that means, uh, it's basically impossible. There are 50 states in the U.S. as of right now. Some of them are solidly Democratic. Some of them are solidly uh, Republican as well. But this guy's saying 47 states are going to go to the Republican in the next presidential election. Where did he get this from? His anus. That's where he got it from. Raw Story explains. A conservative economist noted for providing the basis for the supply-side theory of economics that uh, became the hallmark of the Reagan administration predicted that the GOP may be looking at a landslide win come the November elections. Here's the quote. I would be surprised if the Republicans don't take 45, 46, 47 states out of the 50, regardless of whom the GOP picks as their nominee. I mean, I think we're going to landslide this election. When I look at these candidates, I don't see one of them. Uh, I don't see one of them who wouldn't do a great job as president. I think Hillary's a very impressive person. She's very articulate, very well educated, got a great resume and all that. But her policies are not good. And it's about issues, not about people. And her day has gone. Oh my God, that's precious in so many ways. Now, I'm no fan of Hillary Clinton. But here, here's whose policies are better than all the uh, Republican policies. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> as much as I dislike Hillary Clinton, the only person on the Republican side I would even consider... Uh, over her, if it were to come down to her for somebody on the Republican side, uh, would probably be Rand Paul. And even that one may not be as close as it once was in my mind. So I got many problems with Hillary, and believe me, they're deep problems. But the idea that, well, I mean, come on, Rick Santorum beats Hillary Clinton on substance. What planet are you living on? This guy really believes the Republicans are substantive. Have you seen the debates? The debates are a shit show. It's basically Donald Trump reality TV berating minority communities and saying ridiculous things and flip-flopping nonstop. He's like, substance. The Republicans are substantive. He said 45, 46, or 47 of the states, no matter who the Republican nominee is. Really? Mike Huckabee versus Bernie Sanders? That's going to go 46, 47 states to Mike Huckabee? Oh my God, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, uh, here's the whole point of me doing this segment. Art Laffer and other Republican pundits, commentators, economists, politicians, you name it. They've been wrong about everything. 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 His economic theory has been debunked repeatedly every time we've done what this guy likes there's been disastrous consequences we did it under the reagan administration what happened ballooning deficits ballooning debt and then we had a recession the second reagan left office it was a boom bust cycle why because this is the jackass who says deregulate everything cut taxes for the rich and then watch revenue flow into the government and the economy will roar free and we'll have endless growth but wait, every time we did that, what happens? Boom-bust cycles. The economy takes off temporarily, and then it crashes. Why? Because you didn't regulate it. It's not real growth. It's basically monopoly money. And that's not a long-term strategy. That's not a long-term solution. And the idea that you cut taxes but increase revenue, that just makes no sense at face value. So you're going to cut taxes. That means you're cutting revenue to the government. But that's going to increase revenue. Cutting revenue is going to increase revenue. No, but that's stupid. That's not true. We know it's not true. That doesn't happen. It's a contradiction. How do you not see that? Because you know what they argue, right? If you cut taxes for the rich, the economy will take off so much that even though you're taxing at a lower rate, it's going to be a net uh, increase in money, in capital flow, revenue flow to the government, because pe there will be so much more money that everybody will be making that whatever, 18% is more from the amount of money made compared to if it was a higher rate and you're earning less. But that doesn't come true when we tried it doesn't happen but nonetheless he still this guy's still respected and that's the point of doing this segment is anybody going to come back when th when this guy's wrong and say hey art uh pack it up you're done your career's over that was such a bad prediction we can't trust anything you have to say nobody's going to do that i guarantee you this this guy in his fat face is still going to be uh showing up on fox business network fox news 
and he's still going to be viewed as an expert and economist, even though all of his predictions have been wrong from day fucking one. And we see it time and time and time again. If anybody on the left made this bad of a prediction, their job's gone. If anybody on the left does anything wrong, look at Bill O'Reilly versus Brian Williams. Brian Williams lied about personal shit, suspended, and then demoted. Bill O'Reilly lied way more about way more serious stuff. Not even a slap on the wrist. Nothing. Nothing. Different standards for the right and the left. The left, if you get something wrong, you're done. We're dismissing you. It's over. The right, you can be dead wrong about everything every time you open your mouth and there's no consequences. So, for example, Glenn Beck predicted a landslide victory for Mitt Romney. Rush Limbaugh, same thing, predicted Mitt Romney was going to win in a landslide. Uh, George Will, George Will, who's viewed as an intellectual of the right, predicted Romney was going to win in a landslide. Dead wrong. There were... Uh, out of 27 polling agencies, all but about two said Obama was going to win uh, by a decent amount. So there, there was no factual basis to make that prediction, but they made it. And then when they were wrong, no consequences. Larry Kudlow said that, uh, and this guy's a CNBC host, he said that Romney would win with, I think it was over 320 electoral votes. Now, not only is this guy still on the air, Still wrong about everything he's ever said. He's even considering running for Senate now. And if he were to run for Senate, he'd have a good chance at winning. Why all of his buddies in big business will give him tremendous amounts of money, so he'd probably win. There's, there are no consequences for the right. There are none. You can be wrong about everything, objectively, empirically, factually. It's irrelevant. They don't care about facts on the right. Instead, they get to say this, and nobody holds them accountable which is pathetic because the whole job of the media is to fact check, is to give information. And if they were doing their job, it would be nonstop fact checks of the right and you'd be able to dismiss them based on that. But you can't do that because, oh, God forbid, they might say you have a liberal bias. <laughs> well, if that's where the facts are, then there should be a liberal bias because in reality, it's not a liberal bias. It's a bias towards the facts, which is indeed not a bias at all.